College football. In today's game, the Sugar Bowl bound Sooners of Oklahoma meet the Nebraska Cornhuskers in a showdown between two of the nation's top five teams. NCAA College Football, another ABC sports exclusive. A year ago, it was billed as the game of the century. Today, this could be billed as the game of the decade between fourth ranked Oklahoma and number five ranked Nebraska, the defending champions of college football, and as you see, a record capacity crowd here in the plains of Nebraska. We're in Lincoln. An early morning fog has been replaced by a crystal clear sky. The temperature around 37 degrees as the Oklahoma Sooners in the white and red, coached by Chuck Fairbanks, begin to come out on the field. And there is plenty of red here today because that's the predominant color of both teams. Nebraska won the toss. They will receive, moving from left to right. And on the near side, number 20, who averages 23 yards on kickoff returns, the sensational Johnny Rogers. Also deep, number 24, Rich Baugh, as John Carroll, number 10, a split in for the Oklahoma offense, will move to the ball, teed up on the 40-yard line. This is a Thanksgiving Day classic, and we hope it adds to your holiday cheer on this beautiful afternoon in Lincoln. Chilly, but perfect for NCAA college football. What a way to spend a Thanksgiving afternoon. John Carroll moves to the ball now. Let's see if he kicks away from Rogers. A beautiful high kick. And Johnny has it, 5, 10, 15. Breaking through, but a beautiful, sure tackle as Rogers exceeds his average, bringing it back 28 yards. For Nebraska, up front, Bob Ravel, 84. The other end is Jerry List, number 85. White, along with Crenshaw, the tackles. Anderson and Barron, the guards, and a great center, Dumbler, while Homer's the quarterback. 22 Dixon, 44 Olds, and 20 Rogers. Ravel split to the far side of the field. First and 10 from, let's go into 26. That's Rogers in the slot at the top of your screen on a second and seven from the 29. Dixon again for more. And now only Olds is the setback behind the quarterback home of Nebraska on a first down play. Rogers on a reverse from a wing back position. No score in the game. Opening minutes. Nebraska with the ball. Slot formation to the near side. In fact, the double wing formation. There's Olds, the fullback, and the Oklahoma defense. Defensive backs are in the Oklahoma defense, expecting a pass on third and 16, and they're going to see it. The pass was short, just in front of Bob Ravel. Back there in single safety. Here's the kick. Kicked away, and it's going to give Oklahoma great field position. Just inside their own 40. Craig Pruitt, right halfback, number 30 for Oklahoma, a Heisman Trophy candidate, uh, is a key factor in their attack. Let's take a look at him on this play and see how well his ankle allows him to move. Oklahoma, the leading exponents of the wishbone formation. Dave Robertson is the quarterback. You see the wishbone with John Carroll, number 10, to split into the far side. Pruitt, second down and six from the Oklahoma 43, no score. Carroll to the far side. Gus White. On a second down and eight. Robertson. Albert Chandler. Okay. There's Glover. And Robertson back to pass. And it was batted down by number 90, John Jut Joe Wiley's punt, number 22. Fourth down and eight. Here's the punt. Into about a seven mile an hour wind. Rogers wisely looking into a bright sun. Called for a fair catch at Jeff Moran and Dam Kroger are in the backfield now. From the 11, Hum. For the second and 10 from the 11. And another incompletion. Nebraska averaging 44.7 points a game. Now with a third and 10 from their own 11. No score in this game. Fine call, Dan Kroger. And look at the pursuit of the Oklahoma defense from his own end zone to punt with a following win. The kick is up. Joe Washington is back. But the ball is short. It may be recovered by Nebraska. Yes, it is. Now from the Oklahoma 49, first down, no score in the game. 
Thumb handing off to the beat back. Doug Dumler is the captain of Nebraska. He centers the ball. Second down and four. Dam Kroger, number 46, third down and four for Nebraska. A double wing formation. David Hump. Jerry List, the tight end, number 85, holding it in. Fast moving first quarter, 9.19 to go. There's no score. First and 10 for Nebraska to 29. Gary Dixon. Second down to nine now for the Cornhuskers at the Oklahoma 28. No score if you just joined us. David Hump. What a hit by Pope. Johnny Rogers, 20 to this side of the play. On a third down and nine from the 28. Hump. Down the middle. Dave Gaylor, first down. Nebraska favorite in the game. Gaylor. And Gaylor moves the ball to Nebraska in the red jerseys. The defending national champions going against Oklahoma in white. Second and seven from the Oklahoma 14. Holes is the lone setback blocking the end. The pass knocked away. He's to the near side of the field. Rogers is opposite. There's the delay. Good call. Touchdown. Bill Holmes. A lone setback. Score. Can't get any better execution than that. And Oklahoma was expecting pass. They were ready to drop back in the secondary, which they did. The linemen were ready to rush. There's the rush of the linemen. See the other people simply wiped out because the pass receivers moved to the outside and there were no defenders left as they were moving out to cover the potential receivers on the draw play. Rich Sanger, near an NCAA record of points after touchdown in one season, has just been successful again with 7.32 remaining in the first quarter, a 49-yard drive at nine plays. The score is seven to nothing. Forty has the seven mile an hour following wind on a bright, crystal clear day in Nebraska. It's a short kick. And it is bobbled. It appeared to be number 39, Glenn Garson. They did move it fairly well. The only other series they had it. And there's a Nebraska defense on the fullback, Leon Crosswhite. Second down to nine at the 24. Nebraska leading seven to nothing. Oklahoma with the ball. Here's Robertson to John Carroll. First down, Oklahoma. Here's a first and ten at the 42. Nebraska leading seven to nothing with 6:30 to go. First quarter. Leon Crosswhite, the Texas born wishbone used by Oklahoma. Second and six. John Carroll, first down at the 37 of Nebraska. He does not get to the passer. Back live, the ball is on the ground with Leon Crosswhite. Now from the 34, it's a second down and seven, the deepest penetration of Oklahoma. And Nebraska recovers a Crosswhite fumble. The second break. Bob Ravel is in that split end. He's off to the near side of the field. Maury Dam Kroger, number 46. Johnny Rogers. Third down and 11. Johnny Rogers. Number 24. Here's the kick. It's going to be hard to handle. And wisely, Washington backs off. Because look at the number of red Cornhusker jerseys there, including Mike Barron. Checking on him now. It wears number 30 on the white jersey. From the 26, it's Washington that carried the ball. Second down and seven from their own 29, Oklahoma with the ball. It was thrown high. Now the wishbone changes. We have a flanker and split in on third and seven. Again, too high. Oklahoma will punt on fourth down and seven. Nebraska leading seven and nothing with 2.14 to go. First quarter. The kick is sailing, spiraling in this crisp, clear air. Johnny Rogers looks at it, and it's a fine weapon. That is eight victories, a surprising loss, and a tie. This game today is for the championship of the Big Eight. Ooh, a dangerous pass just with... Rodgers in the far side slot outside Daryl White the tackle. And the Oklahoma defense moves in. 
Here's Hum. And it's going to be a punting situation. As he's the strongest lineman that he's coached. This is a Sanger punt high in the air. Joe Washington calling for a fair catch. A happy Thanksgiving. As Oklahoma now from their own 45. And Greg Pruitt to score. Nebraska 7, Oklahoma nothing. 42 seconds, first quarter. And Joe Washington as Carroll splits to the near side on third down and five. Cross White. First down for Oklahoma at the 39 of Nebraska. Time has run out here in the first quarter. And the Nebraska Cornhuskers favored in this game on their home field are in a 7 to nothing lead after they went 49 yards in nine plays to score. Be back for the second quarter in a minute. Has 24 Washington, Quinn Russell 39, and Burgett 25 in the backfield on a first and 10 from their own 39. So they're down to their third fullback. But John Carroll has been a great pass catcher. He is out of bounds at about the 26. Owen, number 11, who comes to the near side of the field. It's a first down play. And Cross White on a second 11 from the 25. Here's Robertson. Drilling one. And okay to the left, Tinker Owens on a third down and 11 from the 25. The shot to Tinker. Oh, couldn't get to it. Rick Fulcher has kicked seven of ten field goals this year and Robertson will hold it'll be a 30 a 41 yard attempt it's up it's no good Nebraska has it at the 20 We're in the second quarter 13 36 to go hum it was intended for Johnny Rogers who was hit hard and is down so it's going to be a second down and ten A delay to Maury Damcro. Jeff Moran is in number 30. Third down and eight. Pass blocking is just tremendous for Zanetti. will be on at halftime. Coach's corner. Here's the punt by Sanger. Washington looking at it. Has the handle at the 25. Now moves up to the 30. Looking for help. Well, the kick blocking wasn't too effective on that. 12.45 remains in the first half. For Oklahoma, first and ten from the 32. They trail seven to nothing. It's Al Chandler, a senior from Oklahoma City. No! Tinker Owen at 155 pounds to the left. Here comes a pass intended for him, but it was knocked down as Joe Wiley will punt with Brahaney centering the ball. Here's the kick. And Borg calls for a fair catch. Marvin Crenshaw is Rogers. Gary Dixon loses the ball. Oklahoma has it. We see no signals, no whistles. And number 31 of Oklahoma, Vic Kearney. Now Oklahoma from about the 41 with a first and 10 in Nebraska territory. Robertson. Tinker Owens is out there. Oh, too long. Nebraska gets something. <laughs> Joe Washington. Third down and four. Crosswhite, Curry, they go for it. Fourth down and two from the wishbone. Well, there's just across the 35. Robertson. Ooh. Joe Blahock. Sophomore Dave Hum now from right near his 35. Hides the ball beautifully. It's knocked down. Doesn't appear he's going to be showing up for a while. Smooth run by Jeff Moran. He loses the ball. Waiting for the official ruling. The Oklahoma player says we have it. Randy Hughes was on top of it. So whether he wasn't, it was certainly marginal. From the 39, third down and six. Johnny Rogers. Rusty Anderson to the far side. From the 41. And Oklahoma intercepts the pass. Dan Ruster, number 16, up from the 16 now. Oklahoma, first and 10. Dave Robertson has Tinker Owens to the far side. And Crosswhite carries a recovered 
A muffed fair catch. Joe Washington. Al Chandler, first down, Oklahoma. Tinker owns to the near side, first down. And Grant Burgett. About a 10 mile an hour breeze moving from left to right, the direction Oklahoma is trying to move against Nebraska, second and eight. And Tinker on. 17 yard play to the 44 of Nebraska, first and 10, Oklahoma. Leon Crosswhite, the first of a doubleheader here on ABC tonight at 9 Eastern Time, Texas, Texas A&M. Robertson of Oklahoma. And Wishbone. And Robertson had to run as his receivers were covered on fourth down. The Sooners, Tom Brahaney, who's and Michigan, Ohio State on Saturday. More about that later. From the 20. That is Bob Ravel. Dave Gaylor. Rogers at the top of your screen. Ravel opposite on the first down. Here is Dam Kroger. Chet Laney and Ed Merrifield. Second down and 10 for Nebraska. Frosty Anderson to the far side. David Hum. 2.45 to go in the first half. Rogers to the far side. Anderson, 89 to the near side. Hum to Anderson. And it's a first down. Gaylor the eye back and Rogers the flanker. Double wing formation. Floating one out to Rogers. Look at that move. A marker is down upfield. Johnny Rogers may have. Did he step out of bounds? Let's see. Yes. The official up by the 30 yard line said that Rogers went out of bounds. Got it again. Here he is going down the field. Let's watch the sideline, and you can see that he was out of bounds there. He's ineligible to return to the field on that play. On the 43 now, second down. And Gaylor, number 28, carrying on the play in the Southwest. All right, from the 40, third down and seven for Nebraska. They lead seven to nothing. A minute 30 to go in the first half. And Johnny Rogers, the intended receiver. Oklahoma does not believe that he's going to punt. They're just playing a normal defense, and nobody is back to handle the kick. Minute 22 to go in the first half. And it has a Nebraska bounce written all over it. He's a young man that defeated Oklahoma. He and his team. Tinker Owens. Carroll still not back in the lineup as Joe Washington carries. So with only 27 seconds remaining here in the first half on 20 and 19 back. Nebraska leading 7 to nothing, 17 seconds left in the first half. And Rogers just watches it roll around the another royal battle between Ohio State and the Michigan Wolverines. Loose ball! On the clock, we see five seconds. At the 35, it's a 45-yard field goal attempt. Rahaney snapping the ball. Here's the try. Not enough distance. Lahawk with a tremendous rush. But the kick was far short. So Oklahoma now has missed on two field goals, one of 41 and one of 45, and there's no more time here in the first half as Nebraska maintains its seven to nothing lead and will return for halftime activities after station identification. For a 49 yard march in nine play. Joe Washington moving laterally now for the Sooners and it's a fine run back of the his injury in order to be back in. And here is Joe Washington and then 
seven zero in the Big Eight. So this is the game for the Big Eight championship. Leon Crosswhite, Midland, Texas, over the ball now on a third down and ten, and they punt on third down. Joe Wiley and Boyle. So from the 41, first down, David Hum in at quarterback. And the lefty spots his man, Bob Ravel. Ravel is out of bounds. 47. What a defensive play by Randy Hughes. Little second down and 10. And defensively, Oklahoma's alert is the ball at the 46 of Oklahoma, third down and nine. Great defensive play. Ball loose, let's see. Ruled otherwise. A 12-yard loss, fourth down and 21. Here's the kick by Sanger. It's a beauty. Joe Wiley is deep, letting it go through or into the end zone. Joe Washington, second down and six now. And the quarterback, Dave Robertson. Session and previous where Hum is back to pass and he is hit and you can see the ball is already loose before he's even close to going to the ground. The official behind him, Cochran the referee, I think was screened by Hum, but there are a lot of other officials out there that are all supposed to be watching it too. I can't feel that that was a good call. Leon Crosswhite carried on that last play on a third down and three which brings up a fourth down and one the high punt Rogers looking at it taking an Oklahoma bounce and out of bounds at approximately the 28 Michigan and Ohio State and the 28 first down hum hum for about three yards Knocked down by number 43, Rod Schott. Schott. Third down and eight for Nebraska from the 30. Hum. <laughs> Two passes and a run on that series by Nebraska. Sanger's kick now. Score is seven to nothing. Wiley has it. Wiley's looking for some blockers. And there is a wrist tackle. But a loose ball, as Jerry List may have gotten on it for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. 24 of Oklahoma. And on the uh, flanker around play, so the native of Omaha is at the top of your screen, number 20 on a second and seven from the 31. And Dave Gaylor. First and goal from the five. David Hum calling signals, number 12. That was Gaylor, number 28. They need four yards. Johnny Rogers gets up and goes in, but apparently he was down at the one. Now it's third and goal from the one. And the Oklahoma defense put about 10 men up on the... He has a brother, Lucius Selman, whom we've talked about before. Fourth down and goal. And up and over. Touchdown, Dave Gaylor. 24 yards, six plays. Gaylor's eighth touchdown of the year. And it's 13 to nothing. Watch it again. They've got a jam down below, and he is up, over, scoring by about a foot or two. Also good. 6.45 remaining in the third quarter here at Lincoln, Nebraska. The Cornhuskers lead 14 to nothing. Conversions moves to the ball. 14 to nothing to score, Nebraska. This is Washington coming to the 15-20. There is a freshman that shows a great deal of promise. Been replaced by a freshman, Ticker Owens. Who's to the left. 
Here's a pass to Tinker. Knocked away. The wishbone. Here's Robertson. Tinker going deep. Tinker. Tinker has it. Play starts now from the 38 of Nebraska. And Chandler couldn't hold on to it. Nebraska leading 14 to nothing. And here comes Tinker on an end around. And Washington left. That was Albert Chandler with about five minutes to go in the third quarter. Owens, number 11 to the left. Cross White. Robertson, the quarterback, second and four. Owens. They started this drive at their own 24. Now they have a first and goal. Robertson. Now it's second down and goal from the four. Mm. Nebraska. Owens to the left. Bill Washington. Touchdown. Leon Crosswhite throwing a terrific block, helping Washington to get into the end zone. It is 14 to 6. The power sweep. No wishbone fake here. Everybody leading and blocking. Burkett, Crosswhite, leading him out. Great block by Crosswhite. That's a fine running. We'll try to make it 30 in a row. It's up and good. So it is now 14 to 7 with two minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the third. We'll be back in a minute. Excuse me, it is Rich Baugh, number 24. Here's the kick. Johnny's over to the near side, and again, Pope is there with him. And my damn Kroger. Two fumbles in their own territory, capitalized on Nebraska for two touchdowns. Johnny Rogers. Third down and 11. Five defensive backs in for Oklahoma. Jerry List. Joe Wiley is deep. Here's Wiley, number 22 at the 35. 40, 45. He's nearly up to midfield. <laughs> Hardly. Robertson. Tinker Owens is deep. Look out, and Tinker, look at that for a freshman. There's Robertson, second and 10. Tinker's out again, and in traffic, pulls it in. What a remarkable. Now, first and 10. And Leon Crosswhite. Now it's second down to nine from the 33. Overthrown because they're on ABC. And the rush on the quarterback. There's Wiley. End over end. And it's inside the 10. Going to the fourth and final quarter here in Lincoln. It is 14 to 7. Nebraska leading. Nebraska with the ball at their own eight. First and 10. David Hum, the quarterback. And the Oklahoma defense home in the Sugar Bowl here on ABC and Nebraska against Notre Dame in the Orange Bowl. Hum, knocked down again. That's third and seven. Bill Olds. Olds, who scored the first touchdown for Nebraska, is on uh, goal line. And deep we have Joe Wiley. Joe has it. And great field position for the Oklahoma Sooners at the Nebraska 36. And now from the 36, Robertson of Oklahoma. Three. Second down and six, there's Washington. Joe Washington, one of the third down and six. Tinker Owens. It's the wishbone of the backfield. First and 10 from the 10. 
Leon Crosswhite tracing them. Second and nine now. Robertson looking. Tinker in the end zone. Overthrown. There it is. Interference against Nebraska. Oklahoma trying to cap a 36 yard march from the one first and goal. And driving is number 25 touchdown, Burgett. And now with an extra point, the game can be tied. Let's see if they might try for two. With this much time remaining, Chris, I don't believe they will. I think that if it were anywhere inside the last five minutes, they definitely would go for two. But uh, with 11 minutes and 45 seconds remaining, there's a lot of football. And you can move it down the field again for a field goal or a touchdown. Must remember that Oklahoma has scored the, the last two touchdowns. The kick is up and good. Tie ball game. Touchdown coming at 11 minutes 45 seconds of the fourth quarter. 14 all. Vultures kick. Johnny Rogers going over, but Baugh takes it. Comes out to the 10, the 15, 20. Finds a little room and then is brought down at about. The 25 yard line. Home. First and 10 from his own 26. Rodgers is out. Second and 10 for Nebraska. Dave Gaylor, a junior. Rodgers is in the slot. Now they put the deep back in motion. Bob Ravel. He had control inbounds, 35 to 31. It's tied now. First and 10 at the 38. Home gets away. Then number 44, second down and 11 for Nebraska. David Hum. Loose ball. The referee Oklahoma, says Oklahoma. that Oklahoma has it. Jarred it loose, and there's the Oklahoma recovery. Robertson to Joe Washington, the freshman, number 24, on a first and 10 from the 27 in the lineup because of re-injury. This is Robertson. Hmm. Washington is in the slot. A double wing formation. That arm was hit a beautiful defensive play by Nebraska from 41 and a half into about a seven mile an hour wind. Here's the kick. It's up. It appears to be long enough. Oklahoma leads for the first time. 17 14 as they have scored 17 points in a row. We'll be back with 844 to go in the game. We have eight minutes, 44 seconds left in the game. 17-14 Oklahoma. Here's the kick. It's going to be Rodgers at the three. Five, 10, 15, 20. Brought down. So now it's Nebraska at their own 23. First and 10. And actually, there's the running star thus far for Nebraska, Dave Gaylor. So now from about the 37, first down. And now it's second down and seven at the 40 for Nebraska. 17-14, Oklahoma leads with 7.54 to go in the game. Hum. It's a third and six. Rodgers and Anderson to the near side. Hum, the wing one. Very bad pass. Didn't get it off the way he wanted to. Joe Wiley is deep for Oklahoma. Did a 90 degree turn. Tinker on at the bottom of your screen or to the near side of the field on a first down. Robertson handing it off to Crosswhite. Leans on second down and five now from the 39. Robertson keeping it on the ground to Crosswhite on third and three with 5.50 left in the game. Oklahoma leading. Washington trying to get that three. Here's the kick. Rogers moving up on it, losing the ball, picking it up. Ra Ravel to the far side. Rogers comes to the near side. As the <laughs> David Hum looking to Rogers. There he is. 
near the 45. And knocking the ball, but hoping to control it, was Dan Ruster. This Nebraska with the ball with 431 left in the game. They have it, second and 10 at their own 45. Right here on ABC. Third and eight. Did they control it? And Oklahoma, a Sooner, Kenneth Pope, and what a defensive day he has had. Rod Schott tipped it. Kenneth Pope, Oklahoma 17, Nebraska 14. Robertson to Leon Crosswhite. Crosswhite again carrying. Third and four for Oklahoma. Robertson catching it out to Washington. Washington, it appears, that gets the first down to remain in possession of the ball. Maybe you'll talk about Bryant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leon Crosswhite carrying on the play. Monty Johnson on the tackle. Now we have a second down and eight for Oklahoma. Two minutes and six seconds left. They lead by three. And Leon Crosswhite getting their second by beating Oklahoma and White. And now they've scored the last 17 to lead as time is running out. And uh, fired up Joe Washington keeps control of the ball. And it appears that he gets the big, big first down. Freshmen have done a great job. First and 10 from the 25. Time left, a minute 28, as Crosswhite carries on the play. Two great years with the Sooners. There's Washington, a sure tackle. Operational leader. He certainly is. Third and four for Oklahoma. They have the lead, 17-14 with 50 seconds. <laughs> Fourth down. Joe Washington did not make it, and Nebraska will get the ball with 39 seconds left on the clock. Bob Ravel to the near side in a double wing formation. Bill Olds is the lone setback. From the 15, David Hum with good protection throws out to Rogers. And it's intercepted by a real hero of the defense for Oklahoma, Kenneth Pope. And that did it. 31 seconds. There is Pope from Galveston, Texas. From the wishbone, first and 10 from the 41 with 31 seconds left on the clock. And it'll be Oklahoma going to the Sugar Bowl against powerful Penn State to be seen New Year's Eve right here on ABC. Well, beautifully to tell the story. No captions need. And the Oklahoma players on the field are overjoyed. The Oklahoma fans, the Oklahoma fans coming out on the field. Chuck Fairbanks being carried off the field when three years ago they almost ran him out of town in Norman. That was it's when he switched to the wishbone, uh, and a lot of people didn't think that uh, that was the right attack to be using, but it turned out to be. A little heartbreak for Bob Devaney in his last experience as a head coach here in the stadium in which he has won so often. But he'll be taking on Notre Dame in Miami while Chuck Fairbanks will go against Joe Paterno. Yes, sir. -y. The Sugar Bowl. There's no feeling in the world quite like what Chuck has right now. Believe me, it's a great, great feeling. Ecstasy. Set by the master. We'll return in a minute. <laughs> 